Welcome, Welcome to, to Merlin's, Merlin's Archery, Archery Adventures, Adventures with, with your, your host, host Grizzly, Grizzly Jim. Jim. Hello and a happy new year to you. I know we're into February now, so it does seem a little bit late. It has been a, a very long, cold, wet winter, so it's been quite difficult for me to get out and do the videos that I really want to do. Um, so it's the first sunny day uh, of the year, I think. So I've, uh, I've, uh, I've jumped out, grabbed the camera and jumped out, and uh, I just wanted to put together a little video for you. Now, one of the questions I do get asked quite a lot, um, or what I get asked quite a lot about, is, is my shot cycle. And it's, it's a strange one because I don't really think about it and it, it, I've had to really think to, sit, to sort of try and break my shot cycle down. To me, it's just, I just do it and I don't think about it. Uh, it. When I'm thinking about it, I'm not really concentrating on the shot and the, the shot tends to go. So it, it, it's very much um, an unconscious uh, thing for me, uh, the shot cycle. But it's, uh, it, it's something I want to talk about. So I thought I would, uh, I would try and sort of break it down into, into its various steps for you and show you what I do. Now, I know the video is called How to Shoot a Bow, but it's not really how to shoot a bow, it's more about how I shoot a bow. Now, the way I shoot a bow may be different to the way you shoot a bow, it might be different to the, the, the next guy. Uh, everybody's different, and that's the whole thing with this, this style of archery, is you've got to find what works for you. Not everything's going to work for you. You need to, you need to find out find your groove and, and, and work to that. Not everything suits everybody. So I'm only going to go from my, my personal experiences. I mean, I've, it must have been, it's been about the best part of 30 years since I got my first bow. And it's I'm largely self-taught. I mean, I did go through a, a target archery phase where I had a bit of coaching, but everything I, I've come across is it's just stuff that I've, I've either seen somebody else do or something I've just, just stumbled across on my own. And it's, that's what you gotta do. You gotta, you gotta look at everything that's out there, take the information that's relevant to you and apply it to the way you shoot. Like I say, not everything's gonna work for everybody, but hopefully uh, I'm gonna take you through uh, my shot cycle and break it down into steps so you can see how I, how I shoot the bow. Um, now it's the same process whether you're using a recurve or a flat bow or a long bow, it, it's pretty much the same kind of thing, but this is very much a, a sort of a traditionally focused video. I'm gonna be talking a little bit about, uh, I've mentioned them before, my three C's, um, the fact that it's gotta be comfortable. Um, that's a very important one. If, if, if it doesn't feel right for you, if it feels drastically uncomfortable, it's not the right shot for you, try something else. So try and make sure it's comfortable, uh, make sure it's concise, so no, sh really big explosive um, uh, elaborate sort of uh, move just keep everything nice and simple uh, and the most the most important C of all is um, it is consistency now that that is across the board not just traditional archery not just target archery everything you need to be consistent in everything you do that's the true key to uh, successful archery so yeah we're going to talk about the three C's, but I'm going to talk about how I put a shot together and uh, hopefully put some nice arrows uh, down range. Now, it's, uh, I haven't really been doing too much shooting just lately, but uh, hopefully we'll knock the rust off and, uh, and put in some nice shots. Uh, we will be um, at a later date talking to some of the, um, uh, we're going to do some videos with the, the MyBo uh, pro staff and how they do various aspects of their archery so that's going to be a little bit more target focused but for now we're going to be looking at the the, the traditional side of things so let's uh, let's nip on the range and uh, let's try and put together a shot and uh, and we'll just sort of go through a shot cycle <coughs> okay so here we are out on the range um, we're going to send a few arrows down we're not worrying about where they're going we're just going to go through the the, the the cycle to see how the arrow gets from here to there uh, and we'll just look at what i do uh, to, to do that process really. Now we're going to try and break it down and the first step it's what I like to do when I come up to a shop is it's all about uh, mental preparation and in that it means you, you need to know what it is you, you, you're trying to look at you need to, to to gauge the shot I mean I shoot with both eyes open so I get a good view of what it is I'm looking at. I, I, it helps me with my depth perception. I can get a good a good gauge of the distance the shot is because a lot of the the, the the shoots and the courses I end up going on are all uh, all unmarked. So you never really know what the distance is. So you've got to eyeball it and make it out for yourself. So look at what it is you're trying to shoot and get it get a good get a good look at what it is. Try and work out the distance. But there's um, there was a quote. Now I'm not going to misquote it, but I will put it on the screen in a second. 
and it's probably one of the most uh, fantastic quotes I've ever come across uh, in archery and it's from the book uh, Deliverance uh, by James Dickey uh, aside from the uh, you know the, the obvious scenes from from the book and the film that we all know about the book focuses very heavily on archery and they t there's, a, there's a passage in the book, like I say, I'll put it up on the screen, but there's a passage about confidence and how one of the most important things about archery is confidence. And you need to be able to look at what it is you're going to shoot and have the confidence and confidence to know that you're going to hit it. And that is, that's a big part of the battle. If you've got the confidence to know that you're going to hit what it is you're looking at, that's fantastic. I mean, I've, I've talked about visualization before where when you, when you look at a shot, before you make the shot, imagine that arrow going from your bow, imagine the arc it's gonna take till it hits dead center of the target you're looking at. And that, it's all part of that mental preparation. I think that really does, really does help you. So if you can imagine exactly what's gonna happen before you make it happen, it stands a chance that it's gonna happen, if that makes sense and it doesn't sound too crazy. Um, but yeah, that is the mental preparation. So once you've got yourself focused and ready, I, I look at what it is I want to hit. I'm imagining my arrow going there, and in my head I've already made the shot and it's been perfect. So that's, that's the first step, that's mental preparation. So we've looked at the mental side of preparing to shoot, so let's have a look at uh, the more physical side now. So the next step that we're going to look at is uh, addressing the string. Now. I've got my eye on the target, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable, I've got a nice comfortable stance. Um, I tend to stand at a slight angle, I'm not, I don't stand perfectly straight. I, I, I stand at a bit of a goofy angle, uh, but again that's just me, that's just the way I shoot. Uh, I address the string, uh, I shoot a, a Mediterranean release which is one finger above and two below. There is the other release which is the three under. If you want to shoot three under that, that's fine. It, it's it's not a problem. It's it, you know if that's the way you want to shoot, then that's the way you want to shoot, and that's what's more comfortable. I used to shoot uh, three under, but I migrated to split finger a few years back, and I, I found it much much more beneficial. Um, but yeah, I, I address the string, so I make sure that I've got I've got my fingers in the same position on um, on my string. I prefer a nice deep hook, so I've got a, a good chunk of finger around uh, my string, uh, generally up to about the first knuckle. Um, that uh, that gives you a good a good grip on the string, and you, it's all it's a common misconception that if you if you just hold in the the the, uh, the string by your fingertips, you'll be able to get the, the string off a bit easier, and it's going to be a nicer shot. And that's not actually the case. A, a deeper hook, uh, when you're at full draw and you relax that hand, is actually going to come off the string a little bit easier than just the fingertips. But we'll, we'll look at that in a second. So you come up, eyeball the target, nice comfortable stance, address the string the same. And uh, yeah, then you start the draw process, which is which is the next uh, which is the next thing we're going to look at. So, as I draw the string, it's it's all about loading it on your back. Uh, I see a lot of pictures uh, of young guys going yeah archery and showing off the muscles. Look what it's doing for me. If that's the case, then you're kind of doing it a little bit wrong. Um, it's not really to do with your arms. Archery is all to do with your back and all about loading your back. Now, what I like to imagine is when I'm coming up to full draw, I imagine that I've got a can or a, a, an empty tin can or an orange or something in between my shoulder blades. And what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to crush that can with my shoulder blades. And uh, so what, what I'm doing, I'm coming up, I've got a nice parallel draw. You don't want a high draw. I like a parallel draw, and I like to come down. So as my bow comes down, I'm loading my back. And what that should feel like um, is if you if you grab one of your arrows, and if you if you hold your arrow like this, and you want to try and pull that arrow apart. And so you put the arrow about eye level, try and pull that apart. You should be able to feel it in your back. That's that's what I'm looking for uh, when, with my back tension. Obviously back tension is, is a subject for a whole other video, but I'm, I'm just, just glossing over it really. But, but yeah, with back tension you want to you be pulling that arrow apart and then you want to you feel it in your back. That's the, that's the feeling you're looking for uh, when you're drawing your bow. So, so you've got your arrow on your string, you're ready to go, you're looking at your target, you're feeling comfortable, everything feels nice, you've got the confidence to hit what you're, gonna, you, you know, what you're looking at. So you come up, nice parallel draw, come back nice and smooth and then we hit 
the next point, which is uh, that we're going to talk about, is the anchor point. So when we're looking at the anchor point, uh, another another couple of the C's come into this, and that's uh, it's got to be comfortable. Uh, it's also got to be consistent. Now my anchor point is my middle finger in the corner of my mouth. Uh, some people use their index finger. Some, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's my face is different to your face. You've got to find something that works for you. So I, I know some people that use a, use their a, a tooth um, because it's 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 more solid. Than, than the lip. You know, if you've got a lip, you, you do have some movement. So some people use, use a tooth as their anchor point. It doesn't really matter as long as, it's, as long as it's comfortable and it's the same. Now, moving on from, from the anchor point, I've mentioned it before, I use the, um, the Jeff Kavanagh two anchor point method, where I have my first anchor point here, and then my second anchor point is back around here somewhere. Um, it used to be my ear, but I, I, I've kind of started overextending a little bit, so it ends up a bit around here on my neck. But, the process is the same. You've got the first anchor point, when you release, you've got the second anchor point, which is, like I say, is somewhere around here. And what that's doing is it's forcing you to come back on the same plane as the arrows going forward. Now, one of my favorite sayings is, is the fact that the bow is designed to do one thing incredibly well. And the less influence we can put into the bow, the better it's gonna fly. Uh, the, you know, the straighter the arrow is gonna fly. Um, if you've got a, a crazy big dynamic release, if you're out here when you're releasing, you're affecting the way the arrow's going to fly. The string's going to come off your fingers like this, the arrow's going to be flying all over the place. So you want to be nice uh, and relaxed and come back nice and straight. That's probably one of the most important things um, you can do, is just come back nice and straight. So we've got a nice comfortable stance, we've got confidence to, to hit what we're looking at, we've got a nice comfortable consistent grip on the string, We've got a nice smooth draw, load in the back, making sure it's all in the back. Um, the other important thing about back tension, which I didn't really mention, is um, a lot of people, when they come up to full draw, they, they stop, they stop pulling. And you don't want to stop pulling. Um, you must continuously keep pulling, keep that pressure on. So, you're not, so you don't come up to full draw, hit your anchor point and stop pulling. You come up, hit your anchor point, but keep that tension on. Just keep, keep pulling, keep pulling, just keep that tension. And then it brings us on to the release. So, we're at full draw, we've hit our first anchor point, we're nice and comfortable, we're looking at what it is we're trying to shoot, and we're ready, and then the release, which is the final part of the puzzle. So, the important thing with the release is it's, you've got to get out of, a way of thinking that the release is an action. The release really isn't an action, it's more of stopping an action. Now, the way, it's hard to explain, uh, but when you're at full draw, you don't want to just consciously let go of the string, because you, you never, you'll never beat the string, you'll never get a nice clean, clean release. What you want to do is, if you've got the back tension on, and you just simply relax your hand, what's going to happen is your hand's going to slip back, Come back nice and straight, and the arrow's gone. Nice and straight, perfect every time. So come back, relax the hand, and just let it go. That's, that's the only way I can think about it. If you, if you just relax the hand, rather than consciously letting go of the fingers, you're gonna get a much smoother release. Um, you might also notice uh, when I'm shooting, I tend to count the bow a little bit. Now, the reason why I count the bow is I'm right eye dominant. If I keep a bow, bolt upright and look at what it is I'm trying to shoot, I can see it. If I keep both eyes open, I can see it. But if I close my non-dominant eye, the target is obscured by the bow. So I need to ask why, how, how can I hit a target that I can't see with my dominant eye? I can't really. Um, I'm still seeing it, but I'm seeing it with my non-dominant eye. So chances are I'm not going to be able to hit it. So I count the bow over a little bit. Um, a, a cant for me tends to come from the waist rather than the, 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 the bow arm. I tend to sort of uh, to keep everything nice and straight, but tip myself over from the waist, just dropping this top limb and this part of the bow out of my, uh, out of my vision so I can see uh, clearly what it is I'm trying to shoot. Now, uh, if you're let's say you're gapping or string walking, then that's slightly different. You, you can keep a bow up straight. Uh, and if you're using um, a plunger button and a rest, then yes, you, 
kind of generally need to keep the bow up straight, but then you're shooting more of an Olympic style recurve that's got a, a big sight window. So it's not that much of an issue, but certainly for the way I shoot and the sort of bows I shoot, I need to drop that top limb out, out of my out of my dominant eye so I can see what it is that I'm looking at. So it's it, you, you don't hunch over, you don't keep a, you don't keep all crunched. Um, you, you keep nice and straight. In fact, I'm, I mentioned him before. Uh, my friend Jeff, he did a nice video on on uh, on a shooting frame. Um, but yeah, you generally want to keep everything nice and straight so you can come back nice and straight. But if you dip from the waist a little bit, that limb just drops over just enough so you've got a clear view of what it is you're trying to trying to shoot. So I've rambled on for quite some time. So let's let's try and shoot some arrows and let's let's see what that looks like when it's all put together. I'll try and talk through it as I go. Um, but we, we, we shall see. So a okay, nice comfortable stance, looking at what it is, I'm trying to build up the confidence to know, I'm already visualizing the shot, so I know I'm gonna hit what it is I'm looking at. I get a nice comfortable grip on the string, nice smooth draw, hit my first anchor point, relax my hand and let it go. And then my hand just comes back um, quite naturally. So we'll do that again. Um, not worrying about where they're going. This isn't a, a test of accuracy or anything. This is just, just how I put together a shot and how, I mean, it's been good for me actually, because it's, I don't really think about it. I just, I just do it. So it's nice to break it down into its, in, into its sections. So again, now I've got a, an arrow in the target. I've got something that I can really, really focus on, which is quite nice. So I'm going to look at that arrow. I know I'm going to hit that arrow. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to send another arrow right down the back of that other one. So nice, comfortable stance. I've got confidence to hit what it is I'm looking at. Nice smooth draw. I'm down, anchor point, second anchor point. There we go. Now, when you are shooting, I've mentioned you want to keep everything nice and straight. So, what you doesn't always happen for me, and I, I do make mistakes. I'm, I'm far from a perfect archer. My, my, the, there's, there's holes in my form. There's holes in everyone's form. I don't think anyone has got perfect form. Uh, but what, what you want to be doing at the end of the shot. You want the bow to be sort of popping forward quite nicely, um, just just jumping forward. If, if your bow's kicking off to the side, uh, you're doing something wrong, usually with the grip. Um, so again, uh, talking about grip, you want a, a nice light grip on the bow. You don't really want a death grip. That's generally when you tend to put torque, torque on the bow. So you want a nice light grip. Uh, I tend to I tend to uh, drop my fingers behind and just have uh, my, my forefinger around. The grips. Now these Timber Creek bows, they've got a really nice contour uh, just on the front, which makes them very, uh, very comfortable to do that with. Um, so I've got a generally nice grip, nice comfortable stance. Addressing the string, nice smooth draw. First anchor point, second anchor point. Now I actually flinched on that one, and that wasn't a particularly good shot, and it didn't go really where I wanted it to go. Um, but it just goes to show, not every shot's going to be perfect. But, uh, but yeah, just keep looking down comfortable smooth draw first anchor point second anchor point and hand coming back now I'm, I'm hoping that that's that's coming across we'll do one more so looking focusing both eyes open again this is just the way I shoot some people do struggle and need to close one eye um, I'm quite fortunate in the fact that I'm right-handed right eye dominant so uh, it can cause problems if you go the other way around. Not impossible, there's always a way around it. There's always a way to shoot. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, just a nice, simple, smooth shot. Seems to be going quite well now. But yeah, not every shot's gonna be perfect. Some some shots you're gonna miss, some shots you're gonna put, put wild. We're not machines, it does happen. So don't feel bad. If you do put a miss in every now and again, everybody misses. I miss. I've, I've done some atrocious missing in, <laughs> in the past. But uh, yeah, we'll just shoot this last couple. So come up, nice smooth draw. First anchor point, second anchor point. Smooth draw. Also, while I think about it, and another bit of advice you can use while, while shooting is, is, is when, you've got your, when you've got your bow arm up after you've made the shot, don't, as soon as the shot's gone, don't drop your arm. Keep the arm nice and straight. Keep it, keep it pointing at what it is you want to shoot. If you think about it, the, the bow arm, that, that's, that's your aiming device. That's wherever you point this, if you imagine you've got a finger pointing out, wherever you point that, that's where your arrow's gonna go. So, you're looking at the target, 
we'll go through the shot cycle again. We're looking through the uh, looking at the target, nice and confident. Coming up. First anchor point. Second anchor point. I'm keeping that bow up, nice and straight. Uh, so I haven't dropped that that bow arm down. I haven't kicked it either side. Keeping it nice and straight. Keeping it pointing what it is uh, you want to shoot. That's that's your best bet. That's where the arrows are going to go. So you come up, nice nice loosey goosey stance. Both eyes open. Shoot with confidence. Come up, nice smooth draw, parallel draw. First anchor point. Second anchor point. Smooth draw. First anchor point. Second anchor point keeping the bow where it's supposed to be. Keep that bow arm nice and straight, that's your aiming device. Keep that pointed at what it is you want to shoot and, uh, and away you go. So that's that's actually uh, a, a decent little group, I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to I'm gonna try and do some more shooting from some different angles so you can see a little bit more what it looks like. Um, I hope you haven't found this video too uh, sort of narcissistic. Uh, I just wanted to to sort of, I, I mean, I do get asked quite a lot about sort of shot cycle and various things, so I just wanted to show you uh, how I put a shot together. I hope it's made sense. Um, it's been quite difficult for me to actually break down what I do. I just, I just generally do it and don't think about it. And that's kind of the thing with instinctive archery. If you can, if you can get your shot to a stage where you don't think about it, and all you're concentrating on is the target, then yeah it, you're laughing uh, your body knows what it wants to do now to quote uh, rod jenkins uh, who's a former uh, ibo world, uh, world champion he he came up with this fantastic analogy about archery being of two people you've got the guy in the front who does all the aiming and then you've got the guy uh, in the back who's working the engine making sure the body does what it wants to do now when the guy at the front's doing his job, the guy at the back's doing his job, everything is harmonious, everything's working really well. The second the guy at the front starts double checking on the guy at the back, that's when you've got your problems. So if you can get to the stage where you, you, the guy, the engine guy just knows exactly what he's doing, then, then you're laughing, you're absolutely laughing. So uh, yeah, let the guy at the back do his job, let the guy at the front do their job, and, and just, yeah. Just have fun with it. That's the important thing. As long as you enjoy yourself, that is the main thing. Uh, that's when I see people sad uh, at an archery tournament or something. Someone looking miserable. I, I think, why, why are you doing what you're doing? Um, you're out shooting arrows. That's, that's you know, that's that's it. That that's why we do it. That's why I do it anyway. That's why I like going out and shooting because I like shooting. It's not really the end result. I don't do it to get trophies. I don't do it to get medals I just like shooting and that's all I've ever really liked so anyway I've banged on for too long um, yeah enjoy this next bit we'll put some nice music on it or something for you but uh, yeah we'll see you in a little bit take care